Let us begin the spire. I think I'm going to go with the ironclad again. Just see what we uh, we got. I'm not going to go for ascension mode yet. Because I don't think I uh, I have the strats down. I haven't been winning recently. So. So. Uh, of these, I actually think I'd just rather have a random common relic. Singing bowl. Nice. I skip lots of cards. So... I like the question mark path of doom, to be honest with you. So uh, let's let's do that because it seems like fun. Let's do that. All right. So you're attacking. You're not. I could double block, or I could just bash you, and then uh, yeah, block this one. So it means next turn you die. Should I have done that? No. I should probably have just gone with the other one, but. So let's see here. Six here. Strike to kill. We'll just double defend. There's no reason to play it fast because he ramps, but he only ramps once in a great while. Hopefully we get bash. Nope, we didn't. Well, we'll just hit him a bunch, I guess. No reason not to. We get weakened again, and then hopefully the bash strike will be lethal. It should be because eight plus four is 12, regardless of the vulnerability extra. Oh, I forgot. Hmm. Is it always? Perfect. All right, we're good. What do we want here? Uh, I don't actually really like any of these. I mean, uppercut can be fun. You know, cleave can be useful with some of the bosses, but I think I'll just go uppercut. I'll take it. I don't need the uh, the boost and health. Slime goop. Give me my gold. I worked hard for that gold. Um, get a relic, become cursed. Hold on a second. The next time I could remove that is here. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, let's let's get cursed. All right, sure. Two block upgrades is fine. Uh, I will buy a potion because she scares me. <laughs> So here we'll go down question mark path of doom. Oh, uh, I absolutely will do that and I will take 20 damage. Get out of my way, boulder. I'm a man. All right, smith something up. Smith up, uppercut. Yeah. Now it lasts more than a turn. All right, now fight a dude. All right, let's see. This is all offensive. Not exactly what I wanted to see on my first draw, but uh, sure, why not? What do you got this turn? Mostly defending? God, man, this is ugh, some obnoxious nonsense. If I had got more offensive cards, I probably just could have murdered him flat out. But uh, not anymore. Let's see. Yeah, this doesn't do enough. I'll just block out most of the damage, I think, and just hit him. A little bit. Uppercut should kill him. Well, not uppercut by itself, but uppercut and any other strike guard. Okay. Oh, I forgot uppercut, I guess, by itself. Let's see. Pass. All of this is kind of garbage. Like, I don't know. Apply too weak is okay. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's pick it up. I like some of the bashy cards. What do we got here? Um... I can't afford the relics as much as I like feed. I don't know. It's not really that good. Now we'll just ditch our regret. And then I think maybe finesse. Just because it's free block. It's two block draw card. I mean, you know. That's not bad. I could just shrug it off as another block card. Yeah, let's, let's balance out our deck. That's probably wise. <coughs> now the real question is, do we include evolve? Evolve counters certain decks pretty hard. Or evolve counters certain uh, enemies pretty hard. Because when they put wounds in your deck, you can just avoid it by drawing past them. Problem is, sometimes it's just not that useful. Let's see, what do we got in the future here? I mean, there is another shop. Why don't we just keep our money? I don't really need it. So, we'll keep going. Alright. Toxic Egg. Pick up, shrug it off. Well, at least we got that upgraded. <laughs> we'll keep, uh, I could heal, 
but uh, I'm I'm far too aggressive with this because I'd much rather have my upgraded cards early. So, um, yeah, we'll actually just fight some battles here and then go up there. So, yep, let's go. All right, cultist, slaver. Never mind. All right, let's see. Uh, I like bash. Make him that, and then defend out. Perfect. So, he's gonna, I think, weaken me? Yeah, that's fine. Now we just want to make sure we can block him out every turn. Cool. If he's vulnerable every, every turn, it means he takes more damage, so that's pretty good for us. So, we're still weakened. That's okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with the bash instead of the clothesline. Am I? Yeah. Bash instead of clothesline, and then just defend. Uh, well, we'll do this first, because we want us to check. Uh, I can apply more weak, but I think I'd rather just make him vulnerable forever. Because it means that next turn, we might just murder him. Perhaps it would have been more beneficial. <laughs> Not sure. Alright, so, uppercut. Man, that's fun. Just punch him in the face. Uh, this can be useful. Hmm. Nah, I don't, I don't want to get too uh, aggressive with picking up cards. Besides the fact that we increase our health, it's just good to have a smaller deck a lot of the time. So here, I think I'd much rather just slice this dude, get him ready for death. Um, I could block twice, which prevents 13 damage. And there'd be, what, 19 incoming? Or I can just kill this dude... And, yeah, I'm just going to kill him. I'm much too aggressive not to do that. We'll take a little bit. But uh, he's primed for death, so I can just do that. Then hit this guy and prime him to get hit by one of my bigger cards. All right. Close line him. Bam. We're done. All right. Uh, entrench. I'm going to pick it up. Here's the thing. Is it going to be useful? Most of the time, no. But that being said, sometimes entrench, like, makes the run possible. So we're going to go... No, we're going to go for the question mark. We'll save our money for another one. That's unfortunate for us, because this is one where we're going to take a lot of damage. So, I mean, uh, yeah, deal to 14 on you. And then I can defend, which prevents a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So at least with this one, uh, we have the chance to not take too much damage. We'll probably have to heal before the boss, which is not my favorite thing, but oh well. Yeah, we're weakened for the rest of this fight, basically. All right, let's see. Deal seven. Nobody dies to seven. Uh, shrug it off. I can deal eight damage. Yeah, why not? Take out the dude in the back. I'd rather do it that way anyway. And we uh, only take two damage off of this. So, that's okay. Alright, let's see. So, don't have to worry about that. Uh, strike this dude until he dies. I like that plan. I am aggressive. I would much rather it just no more damage. Okay, here. Um, I like the uppercut. Actually, clothesline just killed him, so that's good. And we'll block out the rest. <coughs> so now we got just the small assets line left. Who is buffing himself. Alright, just hit him. All right. Hmm, what card do we need now? Uh, I like ghostly armor. All right. Go here. We should probably heal. I hate healing, though. Um, if we heal, we have a much better chance of getting out of this alive. But if we buff one of our cards, we have a much better chance of it being useful in the future. This is the worst card to upgrade. It does nothing. This... Costing one less is massively more helpful. Alright, we're gonna go aggressive. 
Aggressive is my lifestyle. So, this guy, okay. So, this so we don't lose it, because we'll need it later. Now, he's going to deal us a lot of damage, because unfortunately, I am not able to kill him. It might have been wise to try to, but uh, I didn't get there, so oh well. Alright, I think I'm just going to go for the uppercut. Yeah. There we go. Um, take 24. I mean, I don't like that much, but the alternative's just as bad. Because I really want to be able to kill him. And we've only got a little bit of damage next turn. 14. If I... Let's see, 9 each. That should do it, so we'll block. We have to be very careful, though. Because we really want him to shift forms before he does this and nerfs us. So, one of those, one of those. We'll just do that to cycle. We will probably weaken him if we don't get something that makes him weak. Ghostly armor. Um, yeah, we'll entrench it, sure, why not? And then hit him once. So, let's see here. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Alright. Sure, hit him. Defend. Let's go. <coughs> yeah, might have killed us with uh, too aggressive of a launch there. Alright, so. Defend. Double defend. He's dealing us 12. There we go. All right, we got to be careful, though, because we only got, like, one more turn before he uh, does his big ol' move. And uh, I don't I don't really want to be around for that. We'll just have to let this decay, I think. Okay. Because if I hit him hard now, I might just barely be able to get through his armor next turn and change forms on him. So he's got 18, and he takes time and a half damage. So this does nine. Yeah. So I can just do this twice. I'm very glad I did that. And do this. Okay. So we are still alive. If not immensely so. Alright. We'll just throw this at him now. Alright. So. Defend plus. Yeah. Keep him weak and everything else. We'll take one point of damage for that. But I think it's worthwhile. Because I want to keep dealing him damage whenever I can. Alright, so. Defend plus. Uh, we're, we're taking damage regardless. Can we afford that? Not supremely. Alright, shrug it off. Alright, so. He's dealing us 12. We can hit him once. Not ideal, but it'll work. Okay. So now he's whirlwinding us. Um... It's looking like defend, defend, and trench. Defend. Defend. I could strike him. Yeah, we'll start that counter down. Uh, unfortunately, I think too much greed. Because I don't think we'll be able to bite through this. Yeah. Bash him. Defend for no reason. Um... Yeah, we're not going to be able to do much against that, and we can't block through it because I'm just the least lucky person on the planet. Oh well, well that's where that one ends. 